Hello, my name is Timothy Gill and I have the pleasure to introduce to you the Big Ball. My company Grounded Movement were originally commissioned to create a site-specific community dance piece that would be performed in and around the Crystal Palace Triangle as part of the festival. Alas, that was pre-COVID-19 and lockdown and obviously we had to shift our vision. We decided to create a film. Once the festival got the go-ahead, everything had to move pretty quickly. We put out the call just over a month ago for local people to get involved and we had a really positive response. The brief was we were going to create a film around the themes of hope, survival and celebration. I asked everyone in the cast to share words, thoughts and stories associated to these themes. Their responses were amazing. Some really touching and important stories came our way. This all became a starting point for everyone to begin creating their own physical material. I set them tasks and taught some sequences during live Zoom rehearsals. And they had to go away and film and record themselves and send the footage and recordings to our filmmaker and editor, Ros. We had some great times and it's fair to say everyone was pretty well challenged. These are non-professional people making time in their own lives around work, family and the pressures of coronavirus and lockdown. They have all been immensely generous as well as brave and talented. One powerful message for me that has come out of this process is how important and relevant it is for all of us to be able to tell and share our stories, to have a voice. I feel blessed to have been part of this project and take my hat off to all the wonderful cast and creatives and production team who together made this film for you, The Big Bull. Welcome to the ball. We're glad you could make it. Your friends, your memories, your stories, your dreams. Welcome to the ball.
Hope Survival Celebration. When my daughter was diagnosed with cancer at 27, my range of emotions was crazy. A mix of fear, despair, steely determination. It went from impotent rage to a frantic hopefulness. Craziest friends. A few months into her treatment, on and one outcome neither of, of us training. anticipated was that our relationship would be a casualty. Loved she chose to make an emotional space between us. loved ones over the past 38 years. My amazing career in the community and in hospitals has allowed me to work in America and Portugal, as well as the UK. However confusing and upsetting at such a critical time, I remained hopeful that this was the best This moment in time has made me reflect on the importance of connecting, friendship and love. It's also connected me to my late granddad, who fought in the trenches of the First World War. My friend and her son, Finn. Their story, a constant cycle of survival, then hope, then celebration. And Reading his military diaries, detailing what his hope. company of 120 men born did on a daily six basis. Years ago. And his first ever experience of fighting in the middle of the Battle of Passchendaele. Highly premature in month six of her pregnancy. After surviving six months in hospital on a high dependency ward, hoping every day he would get well, my friend was finally my allowed the war and to had take a full her son life. home. But I wondered, did he think in the trenches? This too shall pass. Hope helps you to prevail when the going gets tough. I changed my name and pronouns last year. It resulted in some conflict within the family. Hope reminds me that there are always people who are ready to accept you despite the ones you expect to turning their backs. The privilege of delivering my first baby. All my life I have been a good, reliable, dutiful daughter, partner and person. And then, through a combination of circumstances, bereavement, but as a family, age, they Menopause. never gave up hope. I lost myself and could live for another 50 years. I broke down. I couldn't bear the idea of living that long. Teaching children with dyslexia who could hardly read at all, watching them begin to get it, each step painstakingly I was slow. clinically depressed. But the self-esteem that they gain as they sense their improvement is a beautiful and poignant thing. You know that the road ahead for them is going to be difficult for years to come, but it gives them hope that they can attain and achieve the first like in other my family to get a degree. And be able to make the most and my of their education. coming over from Jamaica. Whatever their age, the impact of dyslexia makes its mark. Their struggles and successes are cause for celebration. Welcome to the ball. We're glad you could make it. Your friends, your memories, your stories, your dreams. Welcome to the ball. Through a pandemic of shut doors, hope is always open. Through a positive mindset, our trust and faith shan't be broken. Confused, in despair, frantically hopeful. A decision, a sacrifice on the road to recovery. Critical time for emotional space. Critical time for change of pace. Hope restored. The future hours. The future hours. The future hours. Through a pandemic of shut doors, hope is always open. Through a positive mindset, our trust and faith shall be broken. A moment to treasure and celebrate in my space. Where there is life, there is hope. And as long as I'm dancing, I can break the rules, make the rules, shape the rules. Where there is life, there is hope. Children with dyslexia who could hardly read, watching them begin to get in. 
the self-esteem they gain, a beautiful and poignant thing. Through the road ahead, difficult to tread, the struggles and successes, cause for celebration. The hope that they can achieve, the hope that they can break free, a beautiful and poignant thing to see, like other children, achieve, happy and free. Through a pandemic of shut doors, hope is always open. Through a positive mindset, our trust and faith shan't be broken. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? Hope reminds me, hope reminds me that there are always people willing to accept you, despite the ones you expect to accept, turning their backs. Hope reminds me that there are always people willing to accept. What's my name? I dwelled on hope and the phrase came, this too shall pass. A mantra I turn to at times of anxiety, alone, by myself, time at home, reflecting on the importance of connecting, friends, love, connecting with my granddad. He fought in the Great War, the Battle of Passchendaele. Though horrific, he fortunately survived, alive, to live a long life. This too shall pass. Through a pandemic of shut doors, hope is always open. Through a positive mindset, our trust and faith shan't be broken. Birth, dependency, the threat to breathe, the little winds, the coming home, the threat to breathe, our little fin, the little winds, the coming home. Laugh together, love together, and calm in the face of pain. Be proud together. Welcome to the ball. We're glad you could make it. Your friends, your memories, your stories, your dreams. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. <laughs>